Introducing the RPT Tutorial Video, a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide to walk you through the entire process of submitting your RPT application via the RPT website. This end-to-end -end tutorial is designed with a dedication to ensure that you have all the information and guidance you need to navigate the submission process seamlessly from start to finish. Go to RPT website at rpt.talentcorp.com.my At the RPT landing page, click on the Login button at the top of the page. Click on the Register tab to start your registration process. Key in the information required to register your application. For future login purposes, please remember your username and password. We would recommend using your personal email address instead of your work email as RPT is an individual application. Before submitting your RPT application, ensure you meet the eligibility criteria. Once all the required details are filled in, you can proceed by clicking Create Account. This will lead you to the main RPT dashboard. Be sure to read the pop-up carefully as it contains important notes to help you understand the RPT requirements better. To begin with your application, you can click on the Approval stage. In page 1, upload your photo and key in your particulars from section A to D. After entering all the required details and uploading your photo, please enter your email address to activate your account. Click the Activate button next to your email address. You will receive an email from the RPT system to initiate the activation process. Simply click on the link provided in the email and your account will be activated. The tab next to your email address will then indicate Account Activated. Kindly fill in all the relevant information in Step 1, Page 1, Section A to D. Click Save and Next to proceed to the next page. You will have to complete Page 2, Employment Details. For the Malaysia Standard Classification of Occupations, make sure to select the appropriate information based on your current employment position. If there is no option for you to choose, you may select any category, division or group close to your current position. After that, proceed to complete page 3, Antecedents of Applicant, and page 4, Declaration by Local Sponsor. Once complete, click Save and Next to proceed to the next page. On page 5, you are required to upload all documents listed on the page. If you have additional documents to be uploaded, you can upload it under Other Supporting Documents. All files must be uploaded in PDF and cannot exceed 10 megabytes. It is important to follow the format specified for all necessary documents. Once all documents are successfully uploaded, you can click Proceed to Next Step. If you have dependents to add, go to Step 2 and click Add. Fill in all their information and save it. Remember to complete pages 1 to 3 for each person and upload the necessary documents on page 4. If you have multiple family members, repeat the process for each one. Once you have filled in the information required in Step 2, click Step 3 to make payment. Please check the details and the amount stated on the page before you proceed to click Make Payment. The payment can be made either by credit or debit card or FPX. It is important for you to read the terms and conditions stated as all payments made are non-refundable. If you agree, please click the checkbox and proceed. Once payment has been made, the pay status will be changed to Paid. You may now proceed to submit the application. A declaration box will appear once you click the Submit button. Please read the details before you tick the boxes. You may also key in any remark before you click on the Confirm and Submit button. You will see a notification prompt at the right side of the screen to notify that the application has been successfully submitted. 
You may track your application by clicking on the Logs button for each applicant. The approval stage is a 21 working day process, commencing from the date we receive all necessary documents. Should any additional documents or clarifications be required, our officer will return the application for your attention. The Charter will recommence upon your resubmission. An email notification will be sent to your registered email address once the decision is out. And if approved, you can proceed with the endorsement stage. In the event of rejection, a reapplication is possible after one year.